Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube contents. I'm Sam King. Today I would like to show you how to do Shapiro vehicle normality test in XLNR. According to Wikipedia, uh, Shapiro Wilk test tests the null hypothesis that a sample X1 to Xn came from a normal distributed population. The test statistic W uh, can be calculated by uh, using this formula. As, uh, as I highlighted here, the coefficient AI, I think this is the most deeper, difficult part to understand how to get these uh, coefficients when you try to understand Shapiro Wilk normality test. Shapiro and Wilk uh, actually uh, developed this uh, W stat, uh, test statistic for uh, small samples. So in, in, the, in their article, uh, they include this kind of uh, coefficient vector table to help you uh, get to help you understand how to get these uh, AI coefficient vectors for each sample. Uh, however, in our program, you can get you can do Shapiro Wilk uh, normality test by using Shapiro dot test function. This is uh, uh, fictitious data uh, I have prepared. And you can see, you can see uh, there is W statistic and P value. And under 5% significance level, this is smaller than 5%, then it means we can reject our hypothesis. Then it means that uh, we cannot say that it follows no, uh, normality, right? And if you check source of this algorithm, then the reference, there are uh, three references. These uh, three references are from actually uh, Patrick Royston. He's um, Patrick Royston and he uh, has developed an algorithm to calculate the coefficients vector for large number of samples. So uh, in our program, actually it applies uh, Royston's algorithm to calculate W statistic and p-value. There are some uh, reference sites I have used for this video, and especially the last one, realstatistics.com. Uh, I really appreciate uh, it. This site was very helpful to clearly understand how to use, how to get uh, W statistic and uh, p-value. So let me show you how to get uh, this uh, related uh, data uh, in Excel. All right. So I have sorted out data from smallest number value to uh, largest value. So let's give a sequence ID. And let's get a probability for each ID by using this formula. And MI is actually uh, inverse cumulative uh, uh, normalized uh, data. So. And these are AI uh, coefficient vectors, right? So let's get a uh, number of samples. Uh, using count function and u can be calculated by 1 over uh, square root of n and m, m, uh, m means actually square roots uh, sum of square roots of uh, mi so sum sq of D here and we need to calculate a n and a n minus 1 so a n means a uh, 36 this one so we can uh, use this formula so if you uh, read other uh, if visit other uh, reference sites then uh, you can check these uh, coefficients again U 
level five. Sorry. Minus. Minus. Let's use this formula. one m n minus one times m right and let's get uh, epsilon here m minus two times m n squared minus two times and n minus one square over one over two times a n square this one in square minus two times a n minus one squared. Right. Then W right. then let's get this one. Same as A thirty six. This one is A thirty five and A one equals minus A N and A two minus A N minus one. And the rest of data can be calculated by using this formula. So mi over square root of epsilon. We need to fix it. And W statistic can be calculated by uh, square root of correlation between uh, X and AI. So, yeah. correlation between X, I mean uh, raw data, comma, and coefficient factor, and square root. Right. This is uh, same as this one. And let's get uh, mu and sigma by using this formula. So, okay, let's see. Uh, times log of n three minus. Sigma 
rooms. G value can be kept by using this formula. Minus W minus mu and over sigma. Then P value can be calculated by one minus SD and Z value comma true. Right, mm, this is same as this one, right? So let's say more about. Uh, sorry, uh, we need to check more about W uh, and P value uh, by uh, in our program. But um, actually, I uh, I have checked it and I was able to see uh, this W statistic. And p value uh, were were exactly the same as our output. So um, again, in summary, uh, Shapiro Wilk test originally it was developed by uh, this W statistic, but uh, there is a limitation in terms of sample size. And Royston has developed a new algorithm uh, for large to apply this, uh, this test for large number of samples. So in our program, in actual, it actually uses Royston's algorithm. And um, in Excel, I showed you how to do, uh, how to get these uh, AI uh, coefficient vectors in Excel. And uh, uh, once you get AI vectors, then you can get uh, W statistic from uh, square root of correlation between X and AI, right? Then, uh, by using uh, normalized da uh, data, then you can calculate the p value. So, again, if the p value is less than 5%, we can reject our hypothesis. It means that uh, it does not follow, it does not meet, satisfy uh, normality, normal assumption, right? I hope it was useful to understand how to do Shapiro Wilk test in XLNR. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.